Hello, hello to the amazing people and welcome to another episode of Limbus Company, an amazing gacha from Project Moon, where you put together teams of sinners, equip them with IDs and egos and do turn-based combat with. You can find the full playlist in the comment description below the video, I have quite a few of episodes of this amazing game. Today we're going to be continuing the Valpurgis Knight missions. Uh, I have three uh, objectives for hard still that I want to do. A complete suppression without the fairy queen defeating any of the fairy masses. Librarian of History defeats uh, X plus, so three plus abnormalities with a single attack skill. And a complete suppression with Librarian of History surviving and taking less than five hits from enemies. I think this one's probably the easiest. This one might be hard. Complete suppression with the, uh, with the, without the fairy queen defeating any of the fairy masses. So I'm gonna try this one. So I'm gonna try to f uh, bring a team which can like do some decent damage against the fairy queen, and uh, also we're gonna need to be taking down the the fairy masses before it can eat them. And it's gonna become por more powerful and more powerful. So it's gonna be interesting. Now, who do I bring as my uh, section leader? Maybe we bring Yithang. Are we gonna put... Oh, I'm wondering. Are we gonna try to put a lot of sinking on it? Is that the way to do it? To burst it really fast? So use Rhyme Shank. But then she's like the first one and she's not gonna do defeat the, the fairy things at once thing. But I'll have to do that. Right now, I uh, mostly just wanna... Mm. So I would bring Sinclair. This one for damage. And then... If you bring her for sinking, I guess that's okay. And him. I've got one more person we can bring. Ryushu is a good DPS, sir. So we try like this. We have very few purples, but it's probably okay. So yeah, I guess I'm doing only one objective here. No forest, interestingly enough. Let's see. Can I feel the fair? Uh, can I kill the fairy masses fast enough? If conditions are met, fairy queen kills this unit at turn end. And conditions would be if the ally with prepared meat is staggered, kill the ally. But only if it's staggered. If this unit defeated an ally with prepared meat, lose one hunger. Yeah. At four hunger, gain a stronger pattern. Okay. So it's gonna become stronger over time. So we have to keep that in mind. Um, also, killing these things will give us a lot of resources, so it is kind of worthwhile to do. At bleed plus hunger, coin power plus one. If target has five plus bleed, coin power plus one. Okay. Okay, let's try to win the clashes, yeah? And if you're gonna... So we either need to like kill these or stagger them. Okay, who are you attacking? Sinclair, a bit too fast. Yeah, everything's a bit too fast. Well, this attack is not. I guess AOE attacks are kind of bad though, right? Spend 6 Tremor account to turn this into an AoE skill with 3 attack weight. I probably don't want AoE skills because they will mess up with the whole pattern thing. So yeah, let's, let's change our team a little bit. I don't want any AoE attacks. Uh, AoE attacks that I know of are Regret Faust and Spice Bush Yisang. So if instead of him, we bring somebody else... I wonder if like spamming chains of others is like a smart thing to do. I might need some healing and stuff. Do we bring the other Faust? The one who grips. I kind of want to level it up then. 
Peter Chico. Not that it's like super mandatory or anything like that, but will be power more powerful. Um, and she is on four. Okay, so just because she doesn't have like AOE attacks. Not sure if she's gonna be useful though, but we'll see. I want her for fluid sack just in case we need to heal people. That's my favorite healing ability, by the way. Okay. Oh, this time he it has like way weaker pattern. What's up with that? So I'm thinking like if we just straight up kill one of these things. Okay, dominating, dominating. It is a bit risky to kill this one, though. Mm. If we fail to kill it, then it's gonna be staggered, and then it's gonna eat it. So maybe the strategy is not to touch them at all. But then they do like decent amount of damage. Do we just try to rush the boss? It might be a good idea, actually. But then without extra resources be hard to trigger these okay I mean these two I can clash without worry right also like if you kill the prepared meat one, let's see, what if you like, go and kill this one here? Will this be enough? It's one tough beast to clash with, dude. Why do all my clashes suck that much? Favorite, okay, finally. Okay, let's try, let's kill it, see how many resources we get. Come on, you need to miss the coin once at least, there we go. Yeah, this is unfortunate. I mean, she needs to kill it though. There we go, nice. Yeah. yeah, this is why we need healing, right? Okay. And then, yeah, no one has, like, the thing now. But it will put thing on two of them. Combat start. Inflict one, prepare me to a random ally. And we don't know which one it's gonna be. So yeah, killing them right now is really, really dangerous. A 3 plus hunger, coin power plus 1. Yeah, it's already in 3 hunger. Okay, I got decent amount of these. Enough actually to, like, do this thing. So I don't have enough to pay for this thing. So... Indiscriminate. Still target things with highest HP. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We, we get that going. Uh, so it's gonna get a lot of stacks of sinking. On which body part? All of them, actually. I'm not sure about what what we I do with these. Like these two are fine, but this one I'm a little bit not too happy about. I mean, I can do this like that. 
And then... Yeah, this one's really important to clash and win against. Oh, can you like? No, you cannot. You have to go there. Struggling, favored. Pause, do I trust you with such an important task? You're really weak against Slash, so I'm a little bit worried about that whole death thing. Okay, this is dominating. Maybe I do it like that. And we let this two through, sure. And then... How many charges? You don't have any. Okay. Favorite. Neutral. This one's already going there. Okay. So far so good. Uh, paralyze. Oh yeah, that gives it a debuff, so we do more damage. I should remember that. That's why that force is kind of good, but... Stay frozen, and there will be no pain. That one's kind of important to like get some extra damage in. Okay. So I still didn't eat anything, so that's nice. Okay. Okay, now this thing's staggered, so this is like uh, this is the the left arm. So the left arm takes a lot of damage. Oh, it doesn't actually have a lot of sinking on it. So the right arm is the one with sinking. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um. Okay, these two are evading. That's great. And this one doing a lot of damage. So like we can defend against this. It's probably fine. And then let's see. Yeah, it's really good that these two are just avoiding. This one's dangerous. Struggling. 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 Five to seventeen. I mean, this is the best one we found so far. I well, we could go with this. This throws eighteen at least. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I'm a little bit surprised. It's hopeless since we shouldn't be able to roll below. Well, not even eighteen, nineteen actually. We lose the opportunity to do a lot of damage though. This one is dominating. Do we risk it? I feel like kind of I kind of need to. Okay. This one doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh I mean, she's gonna hang in there for a little bit. I'm gonna fail the let it not get like damage mission, but. Inflict one prepared meat to all allies without prepared meat. Yeah, time to pay for my care. Yeah, because I guess because it's becoming more hungry. But yeah, I'm like more or less successfully just. Avoiding the mechanic here. And as soon as she can cast this thing. We can recuperate a little bit, but I'm not doing lots of purples. That's gonna be the, another purple there soon ish, though. I mean, I could also do like this and go with a purple there. 
probably decent. Yeah. All right. Just keep on bringing the pain. But yes, I'm not using the sanity, I guess. I don't know. The sanity damage. Oh, did I change the... No. I mean, it's dying decently fast. As long as I can kill it fast enough, it should be fine. It's gonna get a stronger pattern at some point. Okay, still pretty hungry. Oh. So now it's gonna go try and eat it. It's gonna try to eat two of them. But wait, can I clash for that? I can, actually. So this has indiscriminate priority because it's target with prepared meat. If target has plus 5 bleed coins plus power. If target has prepared meat, coin power plus 10, coin power minus pet for every... A coin power minus 5 for every broken arm part. All parts gain to attack power out for the encounter stackable. Okay, so we just... So we just like... Change the targets of these. Not let it eat its friends. I mean, I still need to deal with the friends, which start to do like a lot of damage actually. I mean, right arm is the place to go when it comes to like damage, I think. This is. Yeah, this is the right arm. And that part's broken here. Does it mean it cannot attack with it anymore? Can we reduce the number of attacks by like... Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, I still cannot do the thing. I need three more light blues. There is also a world in which we try to kill these two before it eats them, but I think that's too risky. Especially since like... Wait. Why is this neutral now? Why does it say dominating down here and it says neutral here? <sighs> zero second zero, you can't tell me this is working. Like, I already noticed this a couple of videos ago. That's clearly a bug. It says 5 to 20. I only have one. I only have three bleed, so it shouldn't get like bonus. And then once I lock it in and then check it, and then it says dominating. So it loses the coin power. It's probably gonna start preparing us <laughs> at some point. So it seems like this is a like good. Like, that we are very likely to win. I would need all three coins to flip, though. How much damage is it if I miss? Doesn't really say. But I think this is pretty safe bet because she's kind of tanky. So, this is gonna go anywhere. Let's let it go to her. And then these two, yeah, they're starting to pack a punch. Not sure if I can continue ignoring them. Mm. Yeah, that doesn't work. Not fast enough. Like, we can defend against this also. Just keep them nice and alive. Also gives us the resource that we need. Favorite. Dominating. Control. Struggling. I mean, this one always wins, probably, yeah? So, row 12, at, at least. 
Yeah, that's good. You can also go there if this one's more powerful. No, they're about the same things. Okay. How is this dominating? Four to ten in five to ten. How is this dominating? It's like twenty five percent chance. So that's two chance. Oh, actually, you know what? She has enough charge. She's gonna totally destroy that. But I might wanna go to the right arm now because that's the one which has a lot of sinking. So maybe I go here with her and then we send Sinclair there. And then... This adds sinking count. So it's probably fine here. And this... Nails, bleed... Target loses 3 SP. So she goes there. And you go there. And then these two I just block so I don't damage them. Was there stagger threshold anyway? Can't see it from here, but Ah <laughs> I feel like I'm risking quite a lot by doing this, but yeah, I don't want it to be eaten, so. Hopefully she can keep up the, the hits, keep up with the hits. So every attack here does 20 extra damage. Yeah, well, I have bad news for you. I'm a negative coin identity. That means I'm a cheaty cheaty bastard. Oh, this doesn't, oh. We're getting bled, that's not good. That's a lot of damage, 329. Okay, so I just need to like survive for one more turn and then I can destroy it. Yeah, it doesn't seem that hard now that I think about it. Okay. Where is this going? Okay, that's fine. I can again, I can defend that. Good. And then let's see what do we have. Okay, I don't really have a guaranteed one here anymore. But it doesn't matter. As long as we clash it, it's fine. That's slash damage. Who's good against slash damage? She is. So I can send Ryushu here. And if she fails, it's gonna be fine. It says dominating. Oh! Coin power minus 5 for every broken arm part. So we have two broken arms. So this thing is basically just not rolling really well anymore. Yeah. We totally blasted it out of the water. So yeah, we defend that. And we counter that, so... Okay. So right arm's the one which I can also do this. But is that something I wanna do? Not really. Just wanna get like as much stuff on the right arm. Just get this sinking going. As much damage as I can here. I mean this turn is not gonna be that much damage, but everything goes to the right arm and right arm still has enough sinking count. Well, it's gonna lose them quite fast though. So that's gonna be two. This is body, she goes to the body. So that's two, and that's three, that's five, and then she's gonna replenish it. That's good. <laughs> Wait to ignore the mechanics and... Okay. Almost dead, 375 still. I think next turn we can just kill it before it gets its turn. I don't know, the, the 
The singing just does too much damage here. It's just gonna die this turn, it seems like. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. It's gonna hit its friends. Hopefully they don't get staggered. Or if they do, I can finish it off now. I messed up. Okay, it's dead. Nice. Okay, I did what I think is the hardest mission here. And now we just have a couple of easy ones to do. Now, they're kind of tricky, but... Complete suppression without the fairy queen defeating any of the fairy masses. Nice. And now, yeah, I need to like... <laughs> this one's like kind of tricky. I need to prepare the small dudes for dying. And then I need to do a strong AoE with a librarian to kill them. Or even two AoEs, I don't know. But yeah. And this one shouldn't be hard. Complete suppression with the librarian of history surviving and taking less than five hits from enemies. So I just use the others to like intercept the attacks. Avoid clashing and all that good stuff. Yeah, shouldn't be too hard. So yeah, it's gonna do it. Could do it in the next episode. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do some nice things. Be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode of Limbo's Company. The Niemers signing out. Bye bye.